In these extended highlights from Bandura Park, we look at the Open and Under 20 events. Starting with the Open women, who raced over 10 kilometres. It was South Melbourne's Sinead Diver and Melbourne University star recruit Madeline Hills, who from the gun went to the lead. Next included Corinna Fife, Lynn Huntley, Sarah Klein, Frankston, Amy Robinson, Collingwood and Natalie Rule of Knox. By halfway, Hills had prized a gap on Diver. Chasing was Klein and Frankston teammate Kaya Fry. Into the final stages, Hills increased her lead. Diver still second. Fry edging away from Klein. Hills was not threatened to take the win in 33 minutes 33. Diver was second, 46 seconds back. Fry fought to the end to grab the bronze ahead of Klein. It's my first uh, cross country race of any type in 12 years, so I've been uh, dreading, I don't know, I've dreading or excited for this all week. Um, it's kind of good that I didn't really know what, I, what the course was like. Uh, it's a tough course, you don't get a whole lot of a break. Um, yeah, first 5k or so, it's Sinead and I next to each other. Um, I was told to be patient and do nothing until the last lap and I did not listen at all. Um, and I thought in the last few k's I, I judged it very poorly. It was definitely getting hard those last 10 minutes or so, but um, yeah, really happy to, to get a break and be able to hold it. The form looked pretty good though. The, the conditions were challenging in with the wind, but the, it was very firm underfoot. How's it compared to most of the other cross countries you've done? Yeah, look, my memories are, are, are pretty faint on cross country. I screwed in 12 mil spikes, um, which was clearly not necessary today. So I ended up just putting on the track, track spikes and having the seven mils. Even that probably wasn't that necessary. Beautiful underfoot, um, hilly, windy, but other than that, it's pretty magic. magic. Also, it's your first XCR race. What do you think? A, bit, a little bit different from New South Wales or South Australia? Yeah, look, nothing against um, New South Wales, but this is a whole, whole other level. And I've known about Victorian cross country for a long time. I remember wanting to come down and, and visit Fort and come and do some cross countries down here when I was a junior. So I'm so excited to finally get out here and uh, run for Melbourne Uni, finally wear the sash. Um, yeah, had a great experience and there's you know, people out there everywhere giving you a cheer. So it was, it was great and I'd, I'd look forward to doing another one. And here are the top eight results for the Open Women. And Premier Team scores show Glenn Huntley get their first win of the season, which puts them on top of the ladder. Next up is the men racing over 10 kilometres. Once the lead pack settled down, the leaders included Joel Tobin White, Doncaster, Jack Rayner, Western A's, Andrew Buchanan, Bendigo, and Ben Buckingham, St. Stephens. By the middle stages, Rayner, Buchanan, and Tobin White then broke away with only Buckingham in tow. Just stay on him, just stay on him. Relax, drop your shoulders, relax. Late in the race, and it was down to Rayner and Buchanan. And inside the last kilometre, it was still the same two runners. And Jack Rayner to take out the Eddie Moore 10 kilometre state championship. Gallant run from the national cross country champion, Andrew Buchanan. Joel Tobin White third. To our first three across. Harry Summers came through strongly to capture fourth ahead of Buckingham. Jack Rayner, a fantastic race out there in the Victorian 10K Cross Country Championship. Yeah, thanks very much. Oh, it was a tough one out there today uh, with Annie the whole way there, and I only really just got away with him in the last little bit of the race. Yeah, he's just making it tough the whole way. Yeah, we were saying the race wasn't over till it's over because Andy is quality. He's Australian 10K champion, so you knew you were in for a good race today. Yeah, he's bloody good over cross country, Andy. So, yeah, I knew he'd be, out of him and Joel, they'd be the ones to beat out there today, yeah. Now, Tobin White would have been talking himself up, he always does, which is nice, uh, and throws a bit out there, uh, which is great for you guys, because there's certainly a lot of banter going on in the group, isn't there? Yeah, that's certainly right. Yeah, he's always yeah, joking around how he's going to win at training, but yeah. Now, your next uh, 10K then would probably be the National Cross Country, uh, which is going to be on a tough course in Queensland. Uh, are you going to change any of the training up after Gold Coast and look forward to the hills? Uh, I reckon this training will be pretty similar, because um, we've got pretty much our set sessions for the winter. 
Uh, it's only really different stuff we do on Tuesdays at the town. So I don't know, we'll see what Nick says. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's nothing too different because I think it's working at the moment. And here are the top eight results for the Open Men. And Premier Team scores see St Stephen's win the day, which takes them to equal top of the ladder with Box Hill. <laughs> Under 20 women raced over 6 kilometres. Out front early included Kira Boyd Squires of Melbourne Uni and Sandringham's Annabelle Eastman. By mid-race, Eastman was being tailed by Geelong's Heidi Demio, with Jess Main of Diamond Valley next. Inside the last kilometre, Demio had taken the lead from Eastman and Main. And that's how they finish. Demio's winning time, 22 minutes exactly. Eastman second, Main third. The under 20 men raced over 8 kilometres. A large pack led by Andrew Moore of St Patrick's, Box Hill Scott McKenzie, and Haftu Strintos of Halebury College. After halfway, the lead pack was down to Strintos, Callum Goldsmith of Mornington. James Lightfoot of Kerry Baptist and Scott Ratray of Marcelin. Deep into the second lap and Strintos had made a move. Then Goldsmith and Ratray. Strintos maintained his lead to take the win 25 minutes 37. Goldsmith 12 seconds back in second. And Ratray third across the line. Keep watching Aspect TV for more athletic action.